Now we're going to bring you the story of 46-year-old Mahalet Girma, who had been vlogging for over four years about her breast cancer diagnosis and treatment. VOA's Eden Geramo reports. As you see this method, the problem, the ending, the problem, the end, what happened. And I'm not, you know, recording it so you guys can, or anything like that. I am recording so you guys are encouraged by the journey, no matter, no matter what we got. This was the final message the 46-year-old Mahalit Girma sent via YouTube for her followers. It has been viewed over half a million times. Mahalit has been vlogging for over four years about her breast cancer diagnosis and treatment. Born in Ethiopia and raised in California, Mahalit came from a family of cancer fighters and survivors like her mother. When I was pregnant with her, there was a lump in my breast and then I had to get it out. Then. You know, after that, I had some lumpy breasts and I had biopsies, which were all negative. Till I found out in 2015 and I got treatment and then mine was done in 2017. The first time Mahalit found a lump in her breast and removed was when she was 17 years old. Fortunately, that lump wasn't cancerous. Since then, she and her mother had removed several lumps, prompting a request for genetic testing. And the result shows that the mother and daughter are genetically predisposed. A year later, Mahalit found out she had a breast cancer. But instead of a silent fight against the disease, she started vlogging her journey in order to create awareness about breast cancer and the treatment. What she did with the vloggers, she wanted all, everything open to everyone. So that when they pass through things, so they know what to ask, what next, and things like that. And they should learn about cancer and the treatments openly. And that you can be strong mentally and you can win this. So that's what her, I'm sure, her motto was. Cancer survivor Mulu Burhan Girma says support plays a big role during the journey. A strong support group is very, very important. And they have to be, as I said, they have to be a really good support group. They don't have to sympathize or empathize or something. So it's better, like, her friends, I remember, they will be just coming one by one every time she goes to chemo. And they bring something that she likes, and that's acceptable also. Halit Girma passed away on September 7, 2021. On her last video, she recorded a message for her followers saying her journey doesn't define theirs and encourage people battling cancer and any other challenges to stay strong. For more on Mahalet Girma's fight against breast cancer, I'm joined by Aidan Geremu, VOA Horn of Africa reporter and host of NeuroBetternet, a franchise of VOA Africa Healthy Living and a recipient of the 2022 Gracie Award. Aidan, welcome to Africa 54. We're happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank so you sad. for inviting me. Sure. So sad that uh, Mahalet lost the battle with cancer, but her vlogging, the whole journey of her illness, made an impact. What more can we learn from her? Yeah, so Mahalit's story is different. What makes her unique is that she opens up her journey, her personal emotions and what she has been going through. But through all that journey, she has been very positive about her life and her struggles. And she has been telling, motivating people to stay strong. And she has been showing people how to battle challenges with medications, health system, and you know, physical and emotional changes through like the disease. So she was a very positive person and that's what has been her impact. And you spoke to her mother. What did she tell you about her daughter's struggle with breast cancer? So uh, Mahalit's mother, uh, Miss Mulu Brahan Girma, she also was a cancer survivor. And so cancer is not a secret, like in their families, they have been like discussing open about the, within the family circle. However, Mahalit took it to the next level and she wanted to teach other people, other women. And she, on a personal level, she was just sitting in her car and showing that my chemo uh, t result has came and she was sharing that result with her 
followers. And I mean, this was very amazing for her moms too. She was also fundraising the past four years she was fundraising so that she can help other small initiations back home. So this is what makes her unique. And her mother really admires her for this because she also knows that she wants to keep it like in a farmer's circle. And, and she had a lot of following. And I know you had some numbers there when she was still alive. Uh, four years is a long journey to struggle with breast cancer. You yes. had how many, close to a million? Yeah, almost, almost close to a million. So, so many people has watched that, especially her last video. So numbers don't lie. People has been talking, discussing about how she, it was possible for her to encourage other people regarding the disease and also, you know, her emotional journey. And she was so positive. She was telling other people her journey doesn't define theirs and they need to check out like their health and check for breast cancer. And even this could be possible for other like cancer patients also. And she has been motivating many people. Aiden, most people uh, in Africa, even here, and including in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. a lot of people hide when they have breast cancer or any kind of cancer. And breast cancer is not just for women, it's also impacting men. Uh, how did Mahalet's story impact people in Ethiopia? What are they saying once, you know, when they saw her story? Oh, I mean, the internet has, like, was... I mean, <laughs> she broke it. Because when, the, her, when she passed, everybody was discussing about it. And she, I believe she also has changed the health communication system. Now that people are opening up about it, they're just discussing more about the cancer and like the, how the treatment should be because it's a taboo, it was a harsh issue because people used to think these are personal things. But now she has shown us that it's not a personal thing. I mean, you can share it with people and you can find a solution for it instead of keeping it as a taboo. And you won the Gracie Award for that story following her blogging and uh, how was that received? Have you been receiving questions on your program? <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. People comments. are asking, yeah. Right. Halet, um, Aiden, thank you very, very much. It's an inspiring story that we all should go get checked annually. Aiden, thank thank you, you for having me. You're welcome.